Hello guys, with me here is a 2015 Mazda CX-5 and it's a very popular crossover SUV in the Kenyan market currently. It's rivaling the likes of the Subaru Forester, the Honda CRV, and the Nissan Rogue and others that we'll get into later in the video. The reason for choosing this car is that lately it has, we've seen so many of it in the Kenyan streets and that's because people love it for several reasons which I am about to discuss currently. The 2015 Mazda CX-5 is the second generation of the model after the first one being released from the period of 2013 to 2015. In this case, we will see, we've seen some re revisions in the interior uh, styling and even some of the exterior, even though it maintains the Kodo styling that Mazda is well known for. This car is very popular in the Kenyan market today and you might be wondering why this is so. It seems pretty obvious because I'd say this is the most exciting looking car in the segment. And if you were to take, for example, the Honda CRV that it rivals, I find that a bit too boring. And let's just go specifically to the Kodo design that they usually throw at your face. <laughs> the Kodo design basically describes a style in motion that's loosely translated from Japanese. And it's basically a design that is testament to Mazda's design ethic, which I'm really loving at the moment. So here we have halogen headlights, which look very aggressive. And here we have the Mazda logo embossed right at the center. Below here is the front scoop, which adds it a bit more uh, aggressive look. And yes, I'd say it's very handsome and good looking. Continuing with the styling at the back, as you can see, the aggressive look continues with the dual tailpipes, which are not fake, by the way. They are actual active uh, dual tailpipes. And we also have the CX-5 logo embossed here, and the famous Mazda logo, and the Skyactiv technology, which I'll explain in the performance section. So I think it looks pretty awesome. And you can also see the headlights have this sweeping design from the from the C pillar all the way to the back. Yeah, I still think it's the most interesting SUV on the Kenyan roads currently. In terms of the engine and performance, I'm glad to tell you that the Mazda is not all about just the good looks. It has the performance to back it up too. Uh, under the hood here we have a 2-litre uh, diesel engine and this produces about 750 horsepower and it's mated to an all-wheel drive transmission and that should be more than enough to take you around the Kenyan highways. So the engines come in three configurations. So we have the two litre petrol, which I wouldn't touch with a 10 foot pole because it's front wheel drive and it's, people have complained about it being very underpowered. The one I'd go for is the 2.2 litre diesel, which as I said, produces 170 horsepower. And this is quite, comes in quite handy, especially when, when you're overtaking in the highway. The other one is the 2.5 litre petrol engine, which is also all-wheel drive, but that can get a bit uh, frugal at times, and which might be nice, but when it comes to towing or heavy haulage of goods, uh, it will take some more money from your pocket. So you might have seen the Skyactiv technology logo embossed within the engine, and this basically Mazda's uh, technology to try to reduce the CO2 emissions as the diesel is combusted in the engine. It also provides for better performance, or rather more power, and also um, better fuel, uh, fuel burning, or rather more efficient fuel burning. And yes, I'd say that while you've had arguments that maybe the, the turbo, the boxer engine in the Subaru Forester is more interesting, that might be true, but this should be more than sufficient to help you in your day-to-day -day needs. When we come to the CX-5 interior, I'd say it also looks very nice, it's, it features a minimalist uh, styling and from the dashboard here you can see it's made of soft touch material and we have this black trim here that's piano black which I really love and the, we have also the in infotainment system which uh, I'd say, I'd say it's, it's okay because to begin with it's touch screen so that allows you to navigate through it very easily although you can also use this knob over here to switch into the different menus that you want to access. On the steering, you also have a few buttons to help you uh, do things like increase the volume, maybe change to the next track, and even the cruise control 
button and then on the on the right side you have the i stop uh, button that's where it's Mazda's technology that allows the car to just stop itself maybe when you're on a red light to help conserve fuel and then for we i can also talk about the speakers which for this model we have more than six speakers which gives you a very nice surround sound and for higher trims you'll even get the Bose uh, speakers which would be pretty nice. Uh, uh, what else can I talk about here? We also have the, the electronic uh, handbrake which would be very helpful and uh, yeah that's pretty much it on, uh, for the dashboard. Now for the seats these seats are among the best in class because of the side bolstering that you have over here. This should hold you pretty well when you're making sharp turns. And they also have, uh, they are quite adjustable, even though they are not electronic, they are manu manually adjusted. And uh, I'd say for the higher trims, you'll find that the front seats are cooled, not heated, just cooled. And that is also not uh, found in the back seats. It's only for the drivers and the front passenger. And that's pretty much it. So having seen some of the exciting features of the Mazda, the 2015 Mazda CX-5, I'd say the things that make it stand out are the, the looks to begin with, which we all agree that it looks very nice. And then there's also the efficiency. As I've talked about, the Skyactiv technology, which is very efficient and is less, is more friendly to the environment. And also, it has very nice features. We've talked about the cruise control. We've talked about the eye stop which you may or may not like, uh, depending on your preference. We've also seen things like the automatic brakes and even the side and fr front airbags, which again makes this car extremely safe as, as parated by uh, key figures such as the IHS. And then finally, I'd also say that it's quite pocket friendly as compared to maybe its German counterparts like the Tiguan. So it's, it's a nice car overall. and I'd, totally recommend it for someone who's looking for a family car, a crossover to get you from point A to B in your day-to-day -day commute.